Dr. Silver, what is the best indicator of a woman's fertility? What's the best indicator of a woman's fertility is, is a very good question. So, uh, the most important indicator really is a question that came up earlier, and that is the number of years or the number of months of having intercourse without contraception without getting pregnant. Now, even a man with a low sperm count can impregnate a very, very fertile wife. It's quite amazing. Now, if she has fertility problems herself or if she's older, then the low sperm count interferes. But it's amazing how teenagers, even with a partner that has extremely low sperm count, gets pregnant easily. And there's like a 0.2% risk of a teenager being infertile, ironically. And in your early 20s, it's, uh, there's a 2% chance of being infertile. So it's a tenfold decline in fertility from your teen years to your early 20s. And then by the time you're in your early 30s, it's 20% risk of being infertile. And so the man's sperm count becomes a problem only when the woman's eggs are older. But now the question is, what's her best indication of fertility? Well, okay, you can test your ovulation. The ovulation kits that you buy at the drugstores can be extremely inaccurate. So it gives you some idea whether you're ovulating in mid-cycle or not, but it can be misleading. The most important indicator is regular 28-day cycles. Now certainly women are fertile that have 29 or 30-day cycles or some variability in their cycles. But extremely irregular cycles, extremely irregular cycles are usually a sign you're not ovulating. And that's an indication of infertility. <coughs> now, um, other than that, there are a lot of tests that are performed to see whether or not a woman is infertile. I mean, there's a lot of different tests you can have. The doctor may suggest laparoscopy, or uh, that's looking inside your abdomen with a telescope, or hysterosalpingogram to see what the contour of your uterus looks on x-ray. Uh, there are all kinds of hormone tests that they're going to get, whether it's the FSH level, day three hormones, or AMH. You'll hear all of this. Frankly, none of this is as valuable as a properly done ultrasound evaluating your uterus in three dimensions and counting your antral follicles. That tells us what your egg reserve is, how many eggs you have, and whether your uterus is normal, and even tells us whether you have dilated fallopian tubes from blockage that can interfere with getting pregnant. So a simple but properly done ultrasound and your menstrual history are the two most important and least expensive indicators of your fertility. So many of the other expensive hormonal tests insurance companies may pay for, laparoscopies, hysterosalpingograms, uh, complicated uh, uh, sperm analysis like uh, DNA sperm fragmentation, don't really, don't really help. Uh, I'm sure you're going to wind up getting them ordered. But the most important thing, at least for the woman, is carefully done ultrasound with antrophological count for ovarian reserve, three-dimensional evaluation for the uterus, and aside from the ultrasound, simply an accurate menstrual history. For the male, uh, a simple sperm count. I've, I've written a whole chapter in textbooks on this, that a simple sperm count is just as valuable, or more valuable, than any of the complicated sperm evaluation tests that your doctors might make a lot of money on by doing it in their lab. Just a simple sperm count. So that's really uh, maybe a long answer, but a, but a good answer to how a woman could know whether she's fertile or how fertile she is.